there heroes it's Michelle here and I'm going to show you my zone for the week and tell you a little bit about what has been done what hasn't been done and why I'm so happy for a whole week to do this um, I'm not sure what tips I'm gonna have for you today but I'm sure I'm gonna have something for you after I show you my before and afters love you guys have the front door and this step um, I, we, yesterday we swept and cleaned up all of this. We have the little trees, I don't know if you can see the seeds, um, that, the trees that leave little tiny seeds in the spring and little tiny leaves in the winter. It's not my favorite tree. Right here, next to where the boxes were and where, like, there's just a few things there, that used to be just full of stuff, and that's mostly what I did yesterday was cleaning taking care of that. I threw a bunch of stuff away. And then I also swept off some of the cobwebs and stuff. Definitely have more to do on this, but that's not a priority for me because what is a priority for me is this. Yes, yes, this. I did take care of a little bit of this stuff, but this is um, stuff that used to be in a storage unit. When my mom closed down the storage unit, she didn't try to find a place inside for this stuff. She didn't go through it. It just got piled here in the car porch. It has been a frustration for me. See, the outside of our home is kind of like our aura or our countenance. It's the first thing that people see from us. Whether they're consciously aware of it or not, they make an impression or an image from the first thing that they see. A good part of first impressions does not have anything to do with what you say or do, or even how you're dressed. It has to do with the way you carry yourself, the energy in your con countenance. Um, if you have a lot of darkness in your aura, people are going to see that before they ever see you. And so our houses are the same. All of this stuff is like stuff in our aura that people see, whether they consciously acknowledge it or not, they see it first. And so this is my zone this week. My um, few minutes every day to try to see how much of this I can get through. I'm going to try and hobble over so we can see the other side of all of us. Um, one of the things that is really scary for me is there are a lot of widow type spiders within this stuff. Um, of all the spiders, those are the ones that I'm nervous to find. And it goes over into here. We have a shed there that eventually I'll go through, but that again, not a priority. We just have a bunch of stuff along here. I would love to get all of this taken care of, see how far I can get this week. Um, Maybe arrange for a dump run if I can figure that out. So, yeah, there's my before. <laughs> Isn't it exciting? Guys, it's an in-between video. The video I'm making to say, hey, this is what I've done. This is what I've got left to do. I have my cute little boy over there. He is rinsing off some dishes I found in a box. Rinsing them off with the hose, and we'll take them in and wash them and see what we're going to keep. So, I moved that can thingy. Like that, I don't even know what you call that. Um, strong box, I guess. Um, up from the ground, up there where I moved some boxes. So there are less boxes here. Um, did some sweeping and removing of stuff so it's not quite as gross through here. But, uh, this stuff. Okay, so this is garbage. These two boxes. I've thrown a couple of um, empty boxes in the recycle. There is a bunch of stuff that we're going to have to wash to see what fabric is good. Um, some fabrics just automatically got thrown away. Um, there was a whole bunch of pictures that I'm going to have to figure out when to go through. There was even, if you can see this, money, I'm rich. Um, there's actually this bag right here it has some money in it as well. Um, so just some things to go through and decide um, if any if it is any good. So that's where I'm at now is taking care of finishing up by... Um, getting that stuff either sorted for later because like I'm not going to go through the pictures this week. I have way too much to do out here to spend time going through pictures so I'll have to figure out where to put those. Um, so basically that's where I'm at now. Figuring out what to do with this stuff, figuring out where to put the garbage stuff because I have no clue right now. Quick, I'm going to do my finishing up video. So um, I did actually, I don't know if you can see it like this, I did get all that stuff cleaned up. I have a basket now with my stuff. Still the dishes are out in the yard, but we'll get those later. They've got piano lessons in a couple minutes, so we've got to get out of here. Um, my message for you is considering cleaning up. 
So if you're in declutter mode, that means that if you're only setting a timer for 15 minutes per zone, because that's how much you have, you have to consider the fact that you've got finish up time. So I would suggest if you're doing 15 minutes, set your timer for 10 minutes and then give yourself five minutes to finish up because you've got to take stuff to the garbage, you've got to um, take stuff um, if you're taking it to the car to get rid of it or taking it to a pile since all the thrift stores have been closed lately. Um, whatever you have to do to finish up. And that's the one thing that I'm like, oh crap, it's time for kids to leave for piano lessons. Oh my gosh, okay. So that's my tip for you guys today, is consider if you're decluttering, not only give yourself time for the decluttering part, but also give yourself time for the cleaning up part. So if you have 15 minutes, 10 and five. If you have 20 minutes, maybe go 15 and five. Oh, or 15 or 13 and seven or whatever. Divide your time up to give you that time. Um, so, I'm almost cleaned up here. Somebody else coming in, they may not even notice that I have did, did something because they aren't used, because they're, they don't know how much clutter was here. Um, but I can tell a difference, and my family will be able to tell a difference, and that's exciting. Um, so anyway, remember you two can be the hero of your own home, and it just takes a little bit every day, and I'll see you guys next time.